Good evening, everybody. This is Nelka again, and I will answer another question from our subscriber. This is all about the roof. How to create the roof? He said the project is a little confidential, so he said I should not mention the project and also his name, maybe. So it's okay. But this is what he wants. This kind of roofing, and he sent me his um drawing sample drawing and it's all about the gable roof and a complicated design of the roof she has a very complicated design of the roof so let's go and let's see how can we do it in Dialux Evo so I open now my Dialux file and I will import now the drawing he sent me and we will so this is the roof I created the drawing like in all sides this is front side side and the rear side okay so let's see if you can see um, there is one sloping roof here and there's another one here but it's much lower and this the chimney is here and there's one gable pitch roof in this side so it's like an T shape if you can see on the plan this is where it looks like lying T shape so this is the uh, side view of the roof and another side view of the roof you can see a gable roof here and then the chimney here and if you go to the rear side or the other side of the view you can see now that this is the another sloping roof so let's draw the of course let's go for the foundation let's go to the wall creation go to the side tab and then create new building and then for now because it, this is a sloping and his drawing is a little incomplete so I'm just imagining a proper imagination so I will just adjust the wall here so that our roof will be a little um, overhung okay let's go and draw the walls so it will be look like this let's increase the height of uh, the wall into let's say 4 meters because the area is a little big okay and then let's go to the roof tab and see what are the selections so Dialux Evo has different selections of roof here there's a battle that butterfly roof there's a double pitch there's a flat gambrel hop hip roof and then the hip roof and then mansard and the pyramid and the single pitch roof so this one is a single pitch roof so let's go select the single pitch and aside, instead of automatically place the roof let's go and draw the roof so how you're going to do the roof is by selecting which which is the higher highest part first so let's go and draw it here okay and let's go and double check it in the elevation yeah so it's correct the um, the sloping side is correct so let's go back now to the top view let's go back and select the another side of the single pitch roof okay. okay and you have to select it properly so if you go and zoom scroll your mouse and zoom it properly so you will know where is the end part and go to the elevation and check oops I think this is wrong okay I think this is wrong if you made a wrong orientation just go to the top view zoom out select the roof that is a wrong orientation and just rotate it <laughs> and go and scale it and let's see what it will be look like if it's okay then it's okay if not then go back and um, orient it properly by properly selecting it let's go and check okay but in this case the other side of the roof let's go back to the plan and, plan and check this one is a little higher and this one is lower so um, I'm just going to guess the the height of the, uh, the height of this okay let's just measure it let's go and check this one okay so it's assume like 1.1 meter so let's move and okay let's make this one as move and move it up like 1.1 6.7 yeah this was 1.1 you can see it here and if you check tada, it looks nice so what we'll do with this one it's open okay let's see and what will happen 
next time so let's go and zoom out and then save after saving we will now proceed to the other side of the roof which is this one this is what we call the double pitch roof so select this one because you can see there are two uh, angle two sloping sides now so it's a double pitch roof select and draw the roof first you will go on this side I'm not sure if it's a correct orientation again but let's just do it so based on the plan view you can see it's up to here so let's go and do it ah this is nice look at that so I think it's in the it's a correct orientation so you can see now that it's okay but this one is a little prob prob problem because it's open so what are we going to do with that open side and if you can go and see some roof in Google oh, there's no similar kind of roof here but um, okay anyways so let's see and uh, let's let's do something about it okay okay let's measure now the height of this roof let's go and um, create a reference line and project it there and then measure the height of this roof it says it's four point uh, let's say 4.45 so let's go and increase the height of this roof into 4.45 um, I created the wall as 4 meters only so now let's make it um, for example the height of the house from the beam is 3.5 so the height of the roof pitch is 4.5 meters so let's go and make it 7 or 8 meters now I have 8 meters and then I have if you select the roof you can check the sloping or the height of this one so you can see that this is the height is 4.4 meters so we will make it 4.5 now it's sloping like that and if we go to the other one let's go and measure it it says 2.7 so let's go to the uh, side view and again edit this one as 2.7 so now I have this little problem because um, yeah the gap is here so if you can see here that the height of the if you can measure this is 3.9 the height of um, the s the wall is 3.5 as what I mentioned before so we will move it down like this and see how it looks like ah gorgeousness but there's a problem again see what are we going to do with this one let's see and increase the uh, canopy up to this side so we will project it like like this like this okay so the canopy will be here so go back and select the, the roof tab and then scale it adjust your roof up to here and let's see and it's still open hmm. I don't know what to do with this open side okay just let's just leave it for now and then concentrate again on this uh, another double pitch roof let's go to the plan view and see uh, so it is leveled on the other one so let's go and level it accordingly so let's move and do it like this and check wow gorgeous let's save it for a while okay it looks pretty now the only problem right now is um, okay this is uh, 2.7 sloping roof so we need to adjust this one also as 2.7 as per the design and then adjust it again to the side view and make it like that ah, this is nice oh my god this is very cute although the proportion of the height of the maybe this is three story or four story house or maybe two story this is only one story that's why it looks flat and a little flat but um, yeah if you have this kind of roof problem and then you have now the idea 
okay how are we going to close this one this side now this is the big problem that I need to know let's go inside and see how it looks like inside yeah inside it is open it's really open okay all right so for now let's say we solve it by uh, putting a trap ceiling and uh, for this one for the area that doesn't close I would suggest for now while I don't know how to close it properly to put a the magic box and put it here scale you need to plaster it with the magic box and go to the section move it and scale and scale more so this is a little cheating so just to have and just to get the proper oh this one is um, a little wrong to make it close to the wall the other side as well okay I think this is fine so if you um, for you my subscriber I don't want to mention your name and you have what you want to have this tex texture and of course your lovely chimney okay let's go and check the lovely chimney where it is located and let's put it okay the chimney is here and the size is this one and this one so let's go and select the box and let's create the chimney scale and also the height is here okay you know how you know have the chimney and then of course this one you need to add it scale and then this one and this one and then make it together for a while and then rotate and then move it from the other side and go and check the width of the chimney here so you will have the exact um, size dimension go and scale all right also this one what is this ah okay this is the base and this is the um, up to here okay so select it yeah okay now you have your chimney you better go and um, combine it otherwise you will have a problem later let's for now group it so you can select it in one and then go and project it here say move and also in this side so you have to make sure that it's there draw a reference line yeah so it will be in a correct position also in this one yeah so there you go I think the chimney is in the correct posi position now okay so after that you need to bring it up and how far could it be from this let's go and select and see it will be on the you can see here that it's in line with this okay little so go and yeah so I think this is the right place make sure this tip is down all right so yeah I think it's a little complicated now see this um, sloping roof is overlapping this chimney so yeah it's correct in here it is really overlapping for you mister it looks good now and I think we just need to put some texture okay let's save it for a while texture and some decoration like maybe windows and other stuff so for now let's go and check the texture for the roof go to the texture tab and go to the catalog and material catalog and go to the outdoor and say roof coverings you send me this image it's like a shingles and this is a brick chimney so I will select some 
shingles this one maybe is similar to yours so I will select and apply this one okay um, you can just drag and drop if the scale is correct then you're right if this one is not correct then you don't need to drag and drop C control Z yeah and apply material much better because you need to paint it with something else so apply material press the control key and then yeah apply like that and another one all right so now you have a nice roof how about the chimney so let's go back to our catalog material catalog and then go to the hmm, maybe I think it's in the wall wood brick brick let's go back and check again this is this one so maybe we have similar I think this is the right one is it <laughs> double check okay think so yeah let's choose maybe this one or this one whatever so it's like this one and then select and then apply it to your chimney so um, for you my friend I think we solved now your problem see you just need to add some gutter and this one you cannot do anything but, but you need to do it manually and the gutter you need to do it manually also or if you don't like to do it manually just leave it like this and maybe put some color like um, white and then select um, say don't like the signal light like the pure white apply and you can apply it here yeah, just drag and drop because you already colorized the add the part the upper part and so that's it so just for your uh, info this is what I can only he help but you will have a problem inside but if you will put a drop ceiling then it's fine and um, just one more tip if you want to put some skylight go here to the window side and select the uh, this one roof window and then just position it like this and then you will have now your love <laughs> lovely skylight okay I hope this one is okay now with you because my computer is I think is crashing okay so that is for now bye okay my PC now is working and then you can edit your skylight here <laughs> you can say um, 2 by 1.5 yeah frame width make it like that and then see you can see that one inside lovely then you can just copy it to the other side just position it like this and like this if you want to go to the top view you can do it and you can yeah you can follow your CAD file if you have the CAD file okay so I think this is final this is final one more here okay alright bye now